think let's return back to our top story, which is about uh, the farmers' agitation. Now, pictures on your screen are actually from yesterday about just showing how intense things got. But as of this morning, an interesting twist has happened. That twist is that Delhi opened its borders to the farmers yesterday. And despite that, and they said that they can all go to the Burari Stadium and be stationed there. But it seems like despite even the arrangements that Amati Party has made for them at that stadium, there is no taker for that stadium and farmers are back on the highway. As of now, at least three highways we know are blocked. These pictures are of this as of this morning where you see barricades in place, farmers on one side, Delhi police and the CISF on the other. Let's take it forward to our guest now. We've joined by Yogendra Yadav. He is the national president for Swaraj India and P. Jengal Reddy. He's the chief advisor of the Consortium of Indian Farmers Association. Mr. Reddy, let me come to you first. What exactly is the plan ahead? The farmers yesterday were welcomed inside the capital, but now they're saying they rather be on the highway. See, our organization is in favor of reforms. There hmm. is no, I mean, very few of us are participating. Most of them outside Delhi, we are not participating in this agitation. Let me make it clear. Hmm. We are in favor of the agitation. As far as the MSP issue raised by Punjab and Haryana farmers, it requires to be discussed. And um, we are happy that government of India has allowed uh, the, the peer farmers to go to Delhi. And my, my I expect the farmers, leaders of various groups that are there now form this alliance, they will all prepare whatever is called a charter of demand, discuss among themselves, and also make it known to the public before they discuss with the governments, because there are some difference of opinion about the farmers' demands now being raised in Delhi. See, we from, so I mean, other, across the country, we have no complaint against these reforms per se. The main problem, as we look at, is the MSP. And MSP also, again, in majority of the states, there is a procurement is going on as per the MSP, and there is no complaint, payments are being made. So therefore, I expect that the organizers will all uh, prepare a charter in detail and mm. uh, then make it known to the public and then go and discuss with the prime minister and I mean government of India and then come to some compromise. Because ultimately, we must accept the fact that the reforms by in the farm sector are but 30 Mr. Reddy, years is detailed. there a conversation uh, happening right now? Have you had any I'm, word from the central government? Yes, you see, government of India's stand is very clear. They have made, brought in reforms. What else can government do? Government will always max, uh, make enactments and bring in some reforms. And people who are not in favor or not in conformity or not in agreement, they can express what is it they want, what type of changes they want. It is not to, today, you should please understand, this the whole thing is there are a number of issues here. There the three reforms are there. The MSP raised by government of India is there. Earlier, foreign direct investments has been raised by, I mean, reform has been brought in by Mr. Modi. And he is now allowing genetic technologies, experiments and all that. See, these are all part of the governmental process. And what exactly is the demand by the farmers groups? You have to list out one, two, three, four. So you could, I mean, uh, simply saying that, uh, I mean, I mean uh, uh, that these is not bad and all that, that is not acceptable to farmers across the country. We are in favor of reforms. We have been demanding reforms. And in Swaminathan Committee, believe me, in 2007, these reforms are suggested. And even then the ruling party has accepted. Even now, most of the state governments are accepting the MSP and are doing procurement. And they are paying the price as fixed as per MSP. And this is being purchased by FCI. That is being done for the last 30, 40 years. And it will continue. We are, see, we don't doubt that the public distribution system of government of India providing uh, food at one or two rupees to people is going to be discontinued. It is going to be there. It's a permanent hmm. phenomenon because there are poor people. No, no, so I'm talking want... about the immediate solution over here, sir. It is not practical yeah, to have farmers to... block major highways. <laughs> Right? Madam, you see, we we this cannot is, have I, a farmer's block indefinitely these highways. I just I, heard I, from I, them I, and they so, have said that they have come prepared for it for months. They're saying we have ration enough to survive a couple of months. So no, 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 I understand that it's no. it's trying to my, give my, out a my, message my, to the centre. 
but at some point some talk, conversation and talks have to begin is 3rd no, no, december that, that, is that, that date set have, is there going to be understand. a meeting on the 3rd of december yes definitely i mean look I, I i don't understand why should we not trust governments i mean i look at government of india has made an enactment and punjab government has made an enactment likewise other governments are following msp what is the point in doubting governments they are as they are duly elected representatives of the people there is a parliament there is an assembly they have made laws and if general public has any uh, uh, protest against them they are very well they are welcome to do so now the farmers have shown that they are not happy with whatever is being government by government of india here the problem looks to be government of india now that government of india has allowed them let them go and discuss and what are the issues let them place it before the public because this is very critical see it's not that the organizations come and decide for the whole nation no they have to make their own demands public and then go and discuss with the government of india and we expect government of india also to talk, discuss with the others we are all there there are number of people from maharashtra andhra karnataka okay. telangana and other states we are also we are all uh, i mean there are i mean uh, we we are in favor of reforms yes there are some changes they are demanding we also may demand tomorrow so let the discussions go on i mean i would uh, welcome the the delhi i mean the uh, initiative by government are you saying until the discussions yeah. take place farmers will continue to be on these highways see look the, my friends who are there in the agitation they are all farmers they are very unhappy with various issues but we must understand how in a democratic country the governments and people should function themselves hmm. see here government has made an enactment and farmers have shown their dissatisfaction now they have invited them yes and the, today they have made arrangements for organizing grounds discussions and all that let the farmers discuss okay. prepare their agenda and then go and discuss with all right we also that, have yogendra yadav that, now joining that, us that, that, We today, also have Yogendra Yadav now joining us. Uh, uh, Yogendra, yesterday when you and I spoke, roughly around this time, you told me that a letter of recommendation with three basic demands had gone to the Prime Minister. Later in the yes. day, it looked like they had already met two of your major demands. They let you into the capital and they gave you a site where you could go and protest. Now, what's the hang-up? Why are we still seeing farmers on highways? uh what happened in between uh their meeting our demand and our speaking was that there was enormous unnecessary and provocative uh, violence from delhi police as you know your reporters must have mentioned about 100 tear gas uh, shells were fired at the delhi border hmm. uh th- is what has put their back up and so a lot of farmers are saying okay if that's the way we are treated i was listening to mr reddy's uh uh wonderful words hmm. uh but so that's not how uh, the government treated us the government actually uh, welcomed the people with barrage of tear gas shells which were provocative and unnecessary because of which large number of farmers are saying no okay in that case we'll just sit here hmm. so farmers organization till i spoke to them last night and i was there till very late uh, evening yesterday uh they are trying to sort out remember they have a huge problem it is not that they were given a red carpet welcome in delhi hmm. they have been disrupted at various points there is not one but there are various convoys which have been broken into different parts because of the police action from delhi and from haryana hmm. so they are not in one single file the entire leadership is not in one place because of police action and so on hmm. so they are re- as we speak they are holding a meeting to take a decision about how to move forward and i'm sure this is a mature political leadership which will take a mature decision hmm. uh, but uh, i'm all i'm saying is that this entire delay and uh, confusion is a result of the way delhi police and haryana police has worked so we would hmm. have to have some patience and as i speak large number of farmers have set out this morning from punjab so hmm. uh, all this is happening while we speak All right that's interesting you're saying it's the police action and the force that was used that has forced them to have a rethink on this entire matter what we heard uh, uh, your games a couple of minutes back i was live with all these farmers there and they said very categorically that listen if you sort of corner us and sideline was the word he used uh, that if you sideline us to one stadium on the outskirts of delhi it will be very easy to forget us we want to make a statement and we will stay on the highway that's the sentiment i'm hearing from them 
Uh, there are different ways of expressing that, but I do know because I was on the site, what really changed the mood. You know, once mm. you change your mood, then you offer various rationale for that. But what changed the mood of the farmers at that point was that uh, unnecessary, avoidable, provocative action by Delhi police. That was the trigger. Then mm. everyone can have very, very different rationale for why they are saying what they are saying. Mm. Uh, and this is uh, so, so a very difficult situation was made even more difficult yesterday. Uh, but as I said, as I, as we speak, Punjab leadership is meeting, all the Punjab organizations are meeting and we are in touch with them. Mm. Uh, and I'm sure uh, in a couple of hours we should have a clear decision and some movement should take place. Right. And Yogendra, what happens uh, to the meeting on the 3rd of December that was uh, to take place between the government and the farm associations? Is that on track? Uh, that's an invitation the government had uh, issued uh, three or four days ago. I think it was issued on the 25th. Hmm. At that time, the government was supremely confident that Punjab farmers will not be able to step into Haryana. Hmm. There was no question of anyone entering Delhi. Hmm. Uh, I guess now with farmers coming to Delhi, the timelines have changed. And I do hope the government would realize that the timelines have changed, the timelines should change. Hmm. If the government says today, all right, we'll wait till the 3rd, well, hmm. that's one way the government can take, but I do expect a democratic government to hmm. respond differently. More importantly, the government has not spelled out what the agenda of that conversation is going to be. So there have been, this would be the third round. Hmm. Uh, the first round was when Agriculture Secretary tried to speak to farmers. They and they all walked it. out. Hmm. Yeah, they walked out. Hmm. Uh, then the Agriculture Minister spoke. They hmm. heard him, but basically Agriculture Minister gave them PowerPoint presentations on what how these these laws are so lovely and how BJP has done better than Congress. Farmers were not interested in finding out whether BJP mm. was better than Congress. Mm. So nothing came. To my mind, a serious meeting would require the following. Number one, an engagement not only with Punjab leaders, but also with the All India leadership and All India formations. Mm. Number two, a clear statement by the government to say we are open to rethinking mm -hmm. if there's another round in which the government would give me what is so lovely about these legislations and we would tell them why they should be trashed mm -hmm. that's no meeting mm -hmm. so this time for a serious meeting the government must say that they are willing to reconsider mm -hmm. and it would be good if the government could come up with some kind of a draft of what they are going to do. So that's what where meaningful discussions begin. Hmm. Otherwise, it's, a, it's a talking past each other and it would be unfortunate with tens of thousands of farmers uh, already on the borders of Delhi for this kind of a talking past each other. To hmm. my mind, hmm. those days are over. Now there has to be a very serious discussion. So you're saying an acknowledgement needs to come from the government that there is something fundamentally wrong with these uh, uh, farm laws and they are willing to reconsider. That's what you're waiting for. Uh, Yogin, last question. I know you said that the meeting is on and we'll perhaps have a, a plan of action on what the fa which way the farmers are going to go in a couple of hours from now. But what do you think would satisfy them at this point? What is it that they're looking at? Would Ramdila Maidan, for example, be a good location that would keep uh, the farmers satisfied? Uh, when I spoke to the farmers last evening, uh, they are young people, very energetic uh, and very militant in that sense, uh, militant about their sentiment. Mm. Uh, they, they were not so much talking of Ramlila Maidan versus Burari. Uh, mm. They said, all right, if this is how we've been treated, so let, why don't we just sit here? Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a sentiment. Uh, I do not know if that would be a very wise uh, strategy on their part or, or uh, to my mind, the considerations that the leadership would have is the following. Uh, one, uh, they are here for a prolonged agitation. They came for an indefinite struggle. Hmm. Uh, number two, uh, they want to have serious discussions with the government and not be involved in logistical affairs all the time. Hmm. Uh, and uh, number three, we are not here to cause inconvenience to the public of Delhi. That is not the principal purpose. Mm. We were absolutely clear. We are coming here to speak to the government. Mm. Uh, so any, any, any inconvenience and problems that can be avoided, mm. I'm sure my colleagues will try to avoid it as much as possible.
All right, Yogendra uh, Yadav and Mr. Reddy, thank you so much, uh, both of you, for joining us. We'll uh, try and reconnect in a couple of hours to know which way this is going. Uh, this remains to be a top story right here on NDTV. We are tracking the farm agitations very, very closely. The big update here is that farmers have refused the offer to actually go to the Burari ground. They're actually now back on the highways.